Today I'll be rebuilding sequence number five. The movements that I will do today kind of rely on bridge position. There won't be bridges as full bridges, but bridge position is gonna be very important. Apart from that, I have nothing clever to say, so we're just gonna get straight into it. I have two ideas for the beginning of the sequence. Uh, the first one is just as it was in the previous version of the sequence. The second one is a little bit different. We'll try both. With the spin, which is way more difficult, but the entrance to the Prado is kind of smoother and nicer. Other option too, which is just an, a, a skiba to the side, jump backwards and en enter to Esdo Prado. And yes, the next movement after this is Esdo Prado. This may sound a little bit egocentric, but sometimes I can't believe that I'm able to do those movements. If you go back to the first episode, when I, I was struggling with simple macaco, and now macaco is kind of easy for me. Both sides, as the brado, both sides, maybe it's not perfect, but still, it's amazing what uh, consistency of training does with you. Being strong, meaning working on conditioning, it's, it's, it's crazy, it really works, really works. Um, also, some of you were asking about tutorials and I can confirm this will be coming. I will start doing some tutorials for movements, uh, kind of my way. Uh, so if this is something you would be interested in in the future, hopefully near future, and you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Clearly as the Prado on my butt side is not so good, but still, it's fine, it's fine. Anyway, next movement. I really want to put out Costas in the sequence as well, which haven't been before, because I use this movement quite a lot in the Hoda, but I often do Avji Costas and then I finish kind of the conversation, the sequence. And I want to continue, I want to be able to transform it to something else. Anyway, next movement. Yeah, yeah, I know Keda Chikins again. If you've watched my previous sequences, then you know that I'm doing this pretty much in every sequence. But I, I just love Keda Chikins. Since I can actually control it, I build up strength for it. It's, it's fun, it's fun. I just can't stop doing Keda Chikins. So yeah, Keda Chikins. And the last movement is Bakan Spring. Something I trained in the previous episode. If, you, if you're curious, you can watch that uh, video. Um, yeah. I'm a little bit more confident now after that training, but still, so I'm gonna start with mats. As always, I have to procrastinate a little bit, so... So I tried to follow the advice of some of you who commented on the previous episode. I don't know, but it's scary to keep legs and feet together. 
but I brought them a bit closer now and it's much easier to, to do and even finish the movement. So thank you very much for your suggestions. I understand this might not be pretty, this technique is not perfect, but I think I just realized that I'm doing this not, not particularly for the movement, but also for kind of to challenge myself to go against the fear of, of, of the movement of jumping backwards. Yeah, it's about fear. Like when no one's watching, no adrenaline, peace and quiet here. I don't even listen to music today. Uh, while training is quiet and then it's just my thoughts and I'm trying to to go for it. It's not easy but uh, it's, um, what's the word? Let's try to put the sequence together and let's see what comes out. This sequence is impossible. I'm gonna show you now how many times I, I failed. Check this out. So as you can see, it wasn't easy. It's still not easy, it's way, it's like the hardest sequence I ever tried. The spin to Esdobrado, Kedeji Hinge jump from uh, kind of finish Esdobrado, Corta Capin, easy, and then back handspring, which I suck at, uh, which is scary. It's, it's really, really challenging sequence, and it's so challenging that I'm uh, enjoying the, it less because it's so challenging, but it's good workout really good workout so um, I really recommend I'm gonna show you uh, the first version and this version of the sequence uh, compare them uh, please let me know which one you prefer which one do you think is nicer better smoother maybe none of them that's okay as well and yeah that's it for today I'm actually glad it's over I've been here for two hours now I'm knackered I'm dead I'm just tired so guys thank you very much for watching uh, if you enjoyed the episode, please let me know. Comment down below, like, subscribe, maybe share the video with your friends. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Which hopefully will be easier than this. It will.